Hello, this is Barry, and this is my Chrono Trigger review. I'm going to review this for you, but first, I am going to let you check out my badass shirt. Look at that. Pretty awesome, huh? I figured I'd wear a Chrono Trigger shirt for my Chrono Trigger review. I'm trying to look at the camera, not at myself. Anyways, let's get started. Chrono Trigger is an RPG where you traverse time to basically save the world. You're, like, not trying to save the world at first, but you're just, like doing things alright you'll figure it out when you play the game I don't want to like spoil anything but it's pretty awesome so I'm going to give gameplay a 10 because gameplay is freaking amazing in that game it's unlike most other RPGs there might be other RPGs that use a similar kind of gameplay like for starters you actually see the enemies it's not like random battles where they just kinda like Pew, and appear like freaking Final Fantasy. You actually like see the dude and you have to run into him to fight him. Uh, and also within the battle system, depending on the enemy's formations, you have open ups for different types of abilities and I will put some clips in here of those in action and the monsters will like move around during the battle and that like opens up different abilities you can use to be more effective or closes up gaps for other abilities that were useful but you can't use them anymore because they're not in the right formation. Hopefully that makes sense. Here's a little, um, a little, uh, sample of, like, music and whatnot, and I'm going to show you how things work. So if I cyclone, this ability hits, like, an area. If I attack the top dude, it'll cleave the area and hit the guy under him. But if I hit the middle guy, it'll cleave the area around and hit both the other guys around him. So, it's important to, ch like, who you choose to use your abilities on, and when you choose to use them. This specific group isn't, like, moving around or anything, but a lot of groups will move around during the fight, and it will open up different abilities and whatnot. So yeah, it's Cyclone. Battle over. Because those Flyclopses are really resistant to magical attacks. Falconic is physical. And those things are a real pain in my ass. Alright, the video is totally frozen in like the first few seconds of that video where I showed the Cyclones and stuff, so you can't really see me walk into the battle but like they just kinda popped out of the trees sometimes that'll happen like the enemies will just like pop out of a bush or something and be like Rawr! and fight you so I guess you can't like you don't have to run into every battle but some there's plenty of battles throughout the game that just kinda like they stand there and then you can just like run past them and you don't have to fight them so it's pretty cool for people who don't wanna fight like everything they just wanna like get through the story because they really like the story and they just want to see the, like what happens next and stuff like that and then it's also good for people who want to like kill everything and train their levels up so the game's like super easy for them and they just destroy everything basically the move I used there was it hits everything in a horizontal line and since those guys were lined up perfectly I was able to use that ability and hit all of them and it worked out pretty well so the battle system is pretty cool for like thinking about oh uh, will it be better for me to use this ability that can hit everything in a line or maybe just things in a pile or if I should just attack one guy at a time it's pretty entertaining it opens up a lot of fun scenarios and it makes some boss fights pretty fun um, and yeah that's pretty much it for gameplay next we're going to cover characters and story, which I also give a 10 out of 10. Go figure. This is like one of the best games ever made. So the characters are pretty amazing. They all have like their own personality. They're all really like their own people. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you've played any of old RPGs where they really put a lot of effort into characters and how they act and stuff like that. And the story is just amazing. Like, you're just traveling through time, and you go through all these different twists of 
problems that you have to solve by going through different time periods and like it's just an amazing amazing story amazing characters I'll put some videos of like some of the characters just talking and being themselves in to include frog croaking in the story because that's just hilarious. Every time he croaks, I just laugh. Because the first time you see him, you're just like, is that a frog? And he's just like, Grrr, croak. That totally didn't sound anything like a croak, but whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it for story and characters. Uh, I wish I could have included more, but uh, I really don't have access to anything. That I would like to put in at the moment, so I will. You'll see the characters when you play the game. Next, and lastly, I have to cover the music in the game. The music is among the most epic I've ever heard in any RPG. It's just amazing. I'm probably going to fill the rest of the video with music clips because I don't want to like miss out on any, and some of them are just so good. Just some of the best music. I've ever heard. So my video and audio quality there were pretty terrible, but as long as the audio was good enough you could hear the songs, that's all I was looking for, and I didn't want you to be looking at a black screen, so I figured I'd give you something to look at being terrible video quality. I kind of just used my webcam to record that because I didn't have anything already pre-recorded on my computer that I could have used for good music, so I kind of just had to make it real quick. Um, so yeah, it kind of sucks, but that's what I came up with. So yeah, some of those are my favorite songs I had to include. Make sure you could see, like, the way the freaking caveman girl moves to the music, and it's just, like, really addicting looking. It makes you want to freaking dance. It's really good stuff. I'm going to stop playing with that. It's probably annoying if you can hear that. Um, so that's pretty much it. I... That's I covered sound, gameplay, and characters, and story, and I give it all a 10. It's one of the best games ever made, and that's my opinion. So overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. Chrono Trigger, awesome game. Um, I hope you like my review. I'm still really bad at this, obviously. This is my second review, and I'm learning. So hopefully in the future I'll have better reviews for you, but for now, this is what you get. Thanks for watching, I'm Burnage, and see you next time!